Hello, welcome to my YouTube tutorial and this is Biko T and today I'm going to walk you through how to um, design Jotter in Photoshop. How you can design your um, Jotter leaflet in Photoshop using Photoshop and also um, using Corel Draw. I'm going to combine these um, two softwares together and just make it um, look kind of good, right? So today I'm going to show you how to go around Photoshop and creating something very simple and cool. Alright, so now I'm here already and um, I'm just going to show you how I came about this. Of course, you know, I always love to make my tutorial very simple and very fast and not to consume much time. So for that reason, I'm going to show you step by step how to achieve that okay so the first thing to do is you want to get to this point how will you get to this point maybe you're absolute beginner you've not even used photoshop before or you've been using photoshop but you're finding it difficult you don't know how to navigate your ways through it i'm going to show you how to do that right now so the first thing you're going to do is this you will come to your file click on new so it brings you um, to this place then since it is a jotter um, you're just going to select a5 absolutely that's just the size a5 then you you can rename it to whatever name you're looking for or whatever name you want then once you just select it up here you just highlight then you can change the name as usual Every other things remains the same then you can just click on create but I'm not going to click on create because I've already created mine so for that reason I'm just gonna click on close but you have to click on create okay so I'm gonna close it then once you create you have something like this of course I've made this um, design for long now but I'm just gonna show you the step by step on how you can achieve that using Photoshop maybe you are a kind of Photoshop designer you get you are used to Photoshop software and you need to design a Jota it's very easy when you use Corel draw to do that I mean the leaflets it's very easy but Maybe you're not used to Corel Draw, you just don't know how to use Corel Draw. I'm going to show you how to do that this very moment. Okay, so now I already have um, my 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 um, Canva, that's my workspace, and I have this as well. I've already done that before now, so it's not something really hard. In case you need it, I, I think I have a tutorial on that, on how I achieve that, that I will upload some other time. Okay, so... After you're done with this, um, then you have an image here. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna make this uh, a smart object. I'm gonna convert it to smart object. Now the reason why I converted it to smart object is that I just want to be able to move it, you know, all at once. Because if I do not, for instance, let's say I've not converted it to smart object now. If I'm trying to move this. You see, this is what will happen. So for that reason, I just have to convert it to smart object for easy um, movement, okay? So I'm just going to right click, then I'll come to smart object. All right, so whenever you see this, it shows that this is a smart object, okay? So now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this towards this edge. I'm gonna drag it like this and I'm still gonna reduce the size to something like this and one of the advantages of um, converting to smart object is that it will still retain its normal quality even when you um, maybe reduce the size or something so I'm just gonna move it up a bit then I'm gonna check it up so I have it here I think it's okay like this so this, I'm going to reduce the um, size of this or something like this. Okay, I'm going to have something like this. So the next thing I'm going to do here now is I want to brush this off. You know, just I want to um, 
what I want to do is just to uh, blend this image with the background so that it won't look too harsh okay so um, what, what I did was just to come to the layer of the image which is this and I'm, I'll, I'll click on this I think add layer mask right add layer mask once I just click it then I can grab my brush tool using my B on the keyboard and I increase it using the bracket key then I'll just brush through now one of the things you have to put into consideration is ensure that you have it at about 80 percent about let's say 60 percent also now you will notice that nothing is happening so why now the essence of this or the reason why this is happening is that you have to ensure that this um foreground foreground color is black you know you have to set it to black for that reason you'll be able to you know wipe off some parts you're not um cool with so i'm just going to um um, interchange them using my X X on my keyboard X to switch over the colors so I have black now you see now it's gonna work okay now it's working all right so I'm just gonna reduce the opacity so that it blends with the um, background and then I'm gonna reduce the flow as well so I can have something kind of cool okay maybe i'm okay with this all right so now the next thing i'm going to do is to reduce the opacity totally like almost fainting so i'm going to reduce the opacity yeah i think this is cool okay let me just do that 23 percent all right so now you have something like this now the next thing we are going to do is to import this into Corel Draw. Okay, we're going to import it into Corel Draw, and um, we'll do the finishing over there, right? Okay, so let's dive deeper now into Corel Draw. So the next thing I'm going to do now is after I'm done with this, you know, maybe I still have some little red top to do. For instance, the essence of this tutorial is just to show you as a designer, a graphic designer, that you are more conversant with Photoshop. You're not used to sorry, that's just my alarm. So now you're not used to um, Corel Draw. You just have a little idea about Corel Draw, so um, maybe your main design is being done using Photoshop. It's okay. You can still go ahead and do your normal design on your Photoshop. Then you just import it or export it to um, Corel Draw. Then you you know you create your lines. Okay, it's more easier when you do that in Corel Draw compared to when you're trying to do it on Photoshop, right? So now. Let's say you still have a, a text you want to you want to write. Let's say court C. Maybe the name of the parent. Let's say court C. Let's say parent. All right. So I'm just gonna do this thing. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to do like this. I'm still going to move it up a bit. Let's say something like this is cool. All right, so I'm just going to pick a color from these colors, right? I'm going to pick a color here. Let me see if it's okay. All right, I think this is cool. It's looking more like black. Okay. All right, so now let's say you're done with the whole of your design as pertaining to write-ups on on the um, inner, that's the inner of the jotter. Um, let's say you're done with that. So the next thing you're going to do now is to save and um, you import to Corel Draw and you do the finishing over there. Okay, so I'm just going to save now. I'm going to use, there's another dimension to save now, which I discovered some few months ago and i feel it's really gonna be helpful 
um, as a designer, it will be really helpful. You can save with a high quality, right? With a high quality and a less memory space, right? So you can save and you, you have it in kilobyte. Meanwhile, the quality will still be okay, quite all right. So what you're just gonna do is, you're gonna click on Control Shift Alt S. Yeah, it's gonna bring this up. Or you can just go to um, file, you go to file, then you, 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 you look at where you can save for web or so. I'm going to show that later. So after that, then you just click on save. Then you can locate where you want to save it. I'm just going to save it here for now. And the name remains the same. I'm going to save. Now it's saved, right? So I'm just going to import it to... Um, Coral Draw now. I'm going to import it to Coral Draw. Then we can continue with the um, design. Okay. I'm going to do that in a Jiffy. Okay. Stay tuned. Okay. You're welcome back again. This is Coral Draw um, 2021. So now I have it open already. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to import that very design we did using Photoshop. I'm just gonna import it now, then I'm gonna create the line on it. So I'm just gonna go to my file, I'll go to open, then I'll locate where um, the file is, where I saved it, uh, it's here. So I think I saved it in Jordan, you know? So I'm just, oh, oh. Okay, let's see. Okay, I think so. I don't know. Okay, let me just do it this way. I really don't know why it's giving me that kind of error, but nevertheless, um, okay, this is A5, right? So I'm just gonna import. I'm just gonna import. Um, so I'm just gonna click once. All right, so now I'm going to fit it to the page using my, okay. So using P, it will just fit into the page. And since it is an A5, so we just have it fitted to the page. So now I'm going to um, select my rectangle, um, rectangle two. Okay, sorry. So I'm just gonna do something like this, like so. Sorry, I'm just gonna do something like this. Then I think this, and I'm gonna outline, I'm gonna click outline off. So, and I'm just going to I'm going to ensure that this is set well. Okay. All right, so, all right, so um, let's see, I'm okay. Okay, so let, let's say I'm okay. Then I would move this down a bit. I'll move it down a bit to just create um, some spaces at the top there. So then I'm gonna, okay, I'm just going to kind of drag So I'm going to copy here and I think if it's, if you're okay with this, I think this is not too wide. So I'm just going to use my control D to just, you know, keep creating it. All right. So I think it's cool. So I think it's okay. It's not, 
but if you feel it's too wide you can still reduce the um the distance but i think it's okay so then after that the next thing you're gonna do is so you're gonna select this uh, i think this so then you're gonna move this to like so oh, sorry okay like so then i think we are good to go okay i think we are good to go so yeah so after that then you can export you can export you can export as pdf or if you want to save it as jpeg um jpg just come to jpg then you can rename it to whatever you want let's see finished maybe finished or something So just look it whatever you want to save it then you just click on export so every other things remain every other things remain I'm not gonna talk about the printing aspect here I'm just gonna talk about the design alone then you just click on OK and it's saved okay and it's saved so that's just that about today's tutorial i hope you find it very um helpful so in case you are a um, photoshop designer and you want to create uh you want to create uh, a daughter and you don't really know how to go about it this is just how simple um, it is to go about your ways and you know just come up with something really nice just design just make your design in photoshop then import it to corel draw and create the lines as simple as possible okay so thank you guys for today and please if you are new to my youtube channel please subscribe and if you're a returning subscriber thank you very much for sticking around with my tutorials it's kind of been a long i've you know uploaded due to some um busy schedule but um i'm kind of i'm back now and i'll be dropping tutorials frequently so stay tuned and stay around please subscribe to my youtube channel and um, if you like this tutorial, please leave a thumbs up and put down a comment section. In the comment section, put out a comment on whatever you feel about the, um, the design. And if you need a kind of um, specific kind of design, just put it down in the comment section. And I'm gonna do that right now. I'm still gonna um, do the cover for the Jota, the, the, the front and the back. I'm still gonna show you how to do that using um, Photoshop and it will be very lovely I, I believe you you will like it and if you're absolute beginner with this tutorial you can just go from zero to hero i believe that and you can start you know making some stipend from graphic design okay please subscribe to my youtube channel thank you